my little butterflies, welcome back to my channel, Butterfly MUA. If you're new here, hi, my name is Mercedes, I'm the face behind Butterfly MUA, and if you are new, remember to hit that subscribe button. If you're not, welcome back. So as you can see, I have foundation, I haven't put any concealer on yet, um, I was just letting my foundation sink in, um, yeah, moisturiser, facial oil, primer, I've done that. But I have yet to do the rest of my face and that is because today we are going to be talking about why cream products are great for dry skin. So the past couple of years, especially over the summer months, I have really been getting into cream products. Now I think that is because I have incredibly, and I mean incredibly, dry skin. Okay, I had to run away. Uh, the doorbell went, which is so rude. I literally just sat down. Okay, so yeah, like I said, I've lost my notebook. It's all right, I found it. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna be talking about cream products today and why I think they are good for dry skin. And like I said, I have incredibly dry skin. And over the past few years in the summer months, I have found that cream products have really helped lock in moisture on my skin but keep my skin looking hydrated even when it's at its driest because even though sometimes my skin looks incredibly dry and I can feel it when I wear cream makeup products it can kind of hide that it can kind of mask the fact that my skin is basically looks like it's flaking off and it's horrendous so I definitely feel that cream products are really really good for dry skin just in general because not only can they help lock in that moisture if you have any on your skin and they can look sort of like you've got moisture on your skin when you haven't they can look very flawless they can look very natural like a lot of powder products on dry skin can look very fake, can look very cakey because the powder accentuates the dryness, whereas the cream products, they don't accentuate it, they sort of melt in, make it your skin look better, and they just sort of, I don't know, like if you're having a natural sort of makeup day, but you're kind of not because you have applied makeup, cream products can do that. They can make it look like you have natural glow about your skin and it I just find them really easy to work with as well with for dry skin. I probably wouldn't overly recommend them for oily skin types just because the oils on your skin can mix with the oils in the creams and they can slippy slide around your face. You might find them bleeding into other parts of the face where you didn't want them or you may just find that they fade away and they don't last that long on your skin but you know as well if you're a dry skin person and you're using creams but you kind of want to add in powder products you can obviously but do it after you've done your cream products so if you want to use a cream blush but maybe it's not giving you as much vibrancy as you want you could go in with the cream first and then do like a powder blush on top. That could work, but you know, it, it's just a kind of balance you have to find with dry skin. And I definitely think creams help find that balance. I do still use powder products too, but I just find that starting with creams is the way to go for me and my dry skin. And as well with cream products, you don't always have to set the makeup down. Yes, in some cases you're going to want to because if you want it to last longer. But if, like me, sometimes powders can just really accentuate the cakey and flakiness, you don't have to. You can just apply your cream products, then use like a dewy setting spray over the top. I find that those can sort of lock in and set your makeup without having to use a powder. Whereas those with more oily skin types, you're definitely gonna have to use a powder to set in and lock in that makeup. But for dry skin, like powders for me are just a big real no-no. 
which is such a shame because I do have some really nice powder products in my collection but I always find myself for, I, I would suppose for like three quarters of the year even in winter I am leaning still towards more cream products it's just occasionally maybe in spring that I will be like yeah I'll use some powder products for a change because my skin has reached a point where it's like okay I can do that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply some of my favourite cream products and I'm going to chat about some in my collection that I love, that I adore, that I think are fantastic. So first up what I would normally go in with is I suppose my cream blush. Now I do have quite a few in my collection that I really like and I have done a video before I did like my top five favourite blushes and I do use a liquid blush a lot as well but I do really enjoy a cream blush as well. One of my tippy top favourites has to be this one from Honest Beauty. This is in the shade Plumberry. So this is a cream blush and it's just this beautiful dark berry shade. I love this in the winter months. I know we're not quite there yet late September but to me like the coldness in the air kind of feels wintry already um I do have a few others that I do really like I've got the Morphe and Maddie Ziegler one this one I haven't used as much as my others but this one is another nice one I do like to use on occasions I don't buy from Morphe too much I don't always agree with the people they collab with or I mean from all the people they used to collab with not necessarily the new people they collab with but I also find their products to be pretty hit and miss so I don't always buy from them but I do have the odd Morphe product and then I have two blush sticks this one is from Makeup Obsession Cheek and Lip Duo in a very nice peachy tone and then I have this one from Absolute New York which is this like a really cute bubblegum pink so those are like my favorites so far maybe I should swatch them for you so you can actually see what they look like so this one is the makeup obsession peachy toned one then I have the absolute New York blush balm in this like bright bubblegum pink then I have the Morphe Maddie Ziegler I mean this one it is what I would say is a cream blush but it's very moussey in texture which I do actually really enjoy it's different and then lastly my honest beauty one I'm gonna have to do this end <laughs> so I ran out of room but yeah those are my favorite cream blushes I adore all of these obviously the more pinkier one is one I'm probably going to gravitate towards more springtime. The peachy toned one is really good for the summer months. And obviously the darker berry red tones I would definitely use more in the winter months. Okay, and because I think we're not quite into true autumn just yet, I'm not going to grab my favourite which is the Honest Beauty one which is the one I would normally gravitate towards. I think I'm going to grab my Makeup Obsession one and what I like to do is grab the stick which is quite a chunker and I just like to go in and apply it just like that. Now a lot of people will go in and sort of tap their finger and just sort of blend it out which is perfectly fine. But what I love to do is I grab my Tatty Beauty Baby Blender Ball and I just like to use this to gently blend and buff out my cream blush. And then if I find it's not really enough, sorry I'm swearing at you then, <laughs> then I can just go in with a bit more on my finger. So I do really like this product um, for my blush, cream blush. It's really funny, when these came out, 
I really did not enjoy the big blender full, but the baby one I absolutely love for my blush. As you can see, it probably needs a good wash um, because the other side is horrendously dirty, but I do really enjoy this. So as you can see, I've now applied it to both sides and I can definitely see that it's kept in a lot of the dewiness. It definitely looks quite warm and glowy on the skin. I do really enjoy this. I do have to say with this one, like I can apply a bit and then apply a bit more later if I want because it does kind of like not disappear but it sort of melts into the skin which I do actually kind of enjoy but sometimes once I've done all of it I might go in with like a powder blush just to make sure that the colour is still there but I do enjoy this one it is a really nice one. You might be thinking that seems a bit pointless to go in with the cream and then go in with a powder Sometimes it, it all depends on how blushed I want to be. If I only want a subtle blush, then I'll probably go in with this one and just wear that one for the day. If I want it a bit more heavy, I might go in with a different colour one. Or, like I said, add a powder one on top. But I really like the way that this sits on the skin. It's nice and dewy. Yeah, I just really enjoy it. Now for cream bronzer... At the moment, I don't have a cream bronzer as such. I used to really enjoy the Milk Makeup one. I had a little mini that I got when I went to the Milk Makeup event a few years ago up in London, and I used all of that. It was beautiful. I also used to really enjoy the Kim Kardashian makeup line, KKW. I used to enjoy the contour sticks. Now, I'm not a big contour fan, but I used to enjoy using the contour sticks to bronze with, not necessarily contour with, if that makes sense. I'm kind of lazy in the way I do my makeup. Like, I want my makeup to look nice, but I don't want to spend hours upon hours doing it. I'm a school run mum, so I kind of like to get up, chuck makeup on, look okay for the day so I can go about, drop the kids off to school and do my business. Um... So contouring is not very high on my list of things to do, but I do like to take contour sticks and use the darker shade as like a cream bronzer. Now I did do that with a B by Superdrug one that I had, and I actually really loved the formula, the shade was really nice, but it did break me out. So I do have a different one to try today, which is from Wet n Wild, and it is their Jewel Ended Contour Stick. So this end is the contoury end and I'm just going to draw it on so you can see. Now a lot of people say like to bronze you actually need like a warmer toned brown, like you need something with a bit of warmth in it. Contour tends to be more on the cooler toned side of things that I've found in my personal life with makeup. Um, so let's go ahead and see how I get on with this. This could turn out to be a disaster, or it could turn out okay. And then I'm just going to use my blender full just to sort of blend that out. Now obviously normally I would take bronzer up onto my forehead, bronze, you know, up there, make it match in, but to be honest, I have a fringe. I very rarely have my fringe out of my face or put up anywhere so I don't always see the point of going too high up with my bronzer. And then with some of the excess left over, I might actually just take it down a little bit and just try and blend, you know, my face to my neck. <laughs> okay, so I actually don't think that looks too bad. Obviously, it's only a first impression that I've not used this product before. But I have done this for a long time where I've used like the KKW contour sticks or the B by Superdrug contour sticks and I have used them as sort of like a cream bronzer. So 
I kind of think that would work. I don't think it's horrendous. You know, for me, I, I, it's just my makeup style. And I do actually want to try a few cream bronzers. I know Revolution have one that's quite popular at the moment. I would love to give that a go. And what is the other one? Elf Putty Bronzer. Is that the right one? I know there's been mixed reviews on that one. But at the same time, I still want to kind of try it. So at the moment, I'm kind of happy with my dewy skin look. So next up, there is highlighter. I'm pretty sure my husband has just turned on the water butt because I can hear like water running outside. Um, possibly watering a plant, although not sure why because the way the weather looks outside it could possibly rain soon. Tangent. Okay, so cream highlighter. So here are a few of my favourite cream highlighters. Now my tippy top fave is this one and this one came from the pound shop and it's from makeup gallery i love this it's in the shade ice one now this is a proper like icy cream highlight but it also has quite a bit of glitter in it so you have to kind of like that look so that one is there I absolutely adore this one and the fact that it only cost a pound like as you can see I have probably been dipping into this it's just I really like the texture I really like the formula it's really pretty the next one I have is a makeup obsession one in the shade swag so this kind of matches the blush so, you know, they're kind of the same chunky size. Pretty sure they were probably meant to dupe the milk makeup ones. Um, so let's see if I can. So not the best swatch, but it kind of actually looks very similar to the pound shop one. Kind of has that same silvery tone to it. And then the last one I have is by... Mm, misguided beauty in the shade 01 angel baby so this one you can actually use as like a glossy eye look or as a highlight but it's kind of like a glass skin highlight it's not overly pigmented and you can also use it as like a, a lip product too so this is what it looks like in the pot and i have to put it the other side of the bronzer so it's this one down here. So it kind of just looks a bit more like your skin tone, but it has like that dewiness to it. It is kind of pretty. I'm very tempted to use this one today because I know I love my silvery ones from the other two. And this one, I haven't used that often. So do you know what? I think I'm going to use this one today. And I will just like go in with my finger and with these types, I just sort of apply it like that. Do you know, I don't actually think that really does very much. I think if I wasn't wearing such a dewy looking blush, it might show up a bit more. I'm gonna go in with my favorite, which is the Makeup Gallery Ice one. And just, yay, that's better. This gives me that proper highlighted glow that I like. Yeah, I feel much better about that one. Um, it's funny because when I first got this one, this one is about a year and a half old. Um, it seemed a lot more glowy than what it did today. Maybe this one's getting old and the formula's changing a little bit. I don't know, but it's always kind of just been that kind of 
glass skin look but I definitely think these two are really really good I do really like them so yeah this is my very dewy creamy um cream makeup look um there is another way to apply cream products as well it's not really a technique I've done myself very much and that is like the reverse makeup technique where you do like your skincare then you apply your cream blush bronze and highlight and then you go over the top with your foundation um obviously the people i watch on youtube that are really good at doing that is like kelly gooch there's a couple of others as well and they always recommend to use like a sheer coverage foundation that is not really a technique I do very often just because my skin can be really finicky <laughs> with foundation because it is so dry that I find that I could do all that and then apply my foundation over the top and because my skin would be dry and the primer would have fully soaked in then that I'll put it on and it, it's very patchy and dry looking so that's not really a technique I like to do but I do know some other YouTubers that really enjoy that technique and it can look incredibly beautiful and natural. So, I'm very happy with how my skin is looking at the moment. I'm going to quickly hop off camera because I have a new eyeshadow palette that I want to play with. So I'm going to do an eyeshadow look and then come back and wrap up this video about my favourite cream products and why they're good for dry skin. Okay, so I'm back. I have just finished applying my eyeshadow. Which palette did I use? This one. So this is the I Heart Revolution Tasty Pumpkin Spice Latte. I'll give you a quick glimpse. It's stunning. And, uh, you know, spoiler alert in case you haven't seen that video yet. I love that palette. It's beautiful. So how do I feel about my rude rude lawnmower um so how do i feel about my makeup look today i feel i look very hydrated very glowy my skin looks quite juicy especially since the past few days i have been having a nightmare problem with my skin it has been so dry it's been flaking so the fact that i've actually been able to do a makeup look and kind of pull it off today i'm amazed um, I did kind of think I wouldn't be able to film today because my skin was that bad this morning, but I think it's come back from the dead. Um, so I definitely think that cream products definitely should be raved about more. I know a lot of people are into them and a lot of people love them and use them, but I definitely think for us with drier skin types, cream products are the way to go. They, they really, really are. You cannot go wrong when you have dry skin with cream products I feel like they just make your skin glow and make you look alive I don't think I look dry and crusty musty today I think I actually look very hydrated very healthy looking so yeah I, I'm loving my look today I'm feeling very sort of happy about it especially compared to how I felt this morning and I, I definitely think you know if you have dry skin and you haven't tried cream products already I think you should definitely give them a go because it locks in moisture it doesn't really accentuate the dryness you may have um you know I just I I love cream products there's just nothing more to say other than I think cream products are amazing yes you know you do have to sort of uh, play around with them to get to know them a bit more they work differently to how powder products work you know they can take a bit more skill to blend out you some of them are hit and miss they sort of disappear and you don't see them ever again on your skin but for the most part i love cream products um i think if you are struggling with dryness on your skin and you're fed up with a cake face from powders i think you should definitely go ahead and give cream products a try so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it wasn't too sort of um like mishmash obviously I had to hop off and go answer the door then I filmed a different video plus I'm feeling a bit looney tune today anyway so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one